thank you, and thank you all for your attention this afternoon. Um, one thing you'll notice about me, and I apologize to the tech team in the back, if I'm too loud, quiet period never has been used to describe me. So let me know, guys, if I'm too loud. I lead a company that uh, was founded here in the Netherlands, initially a spin-out from Unilever, named Voltea. And Voltea is focused on taking dissolved salts out of water, desalination. Desal, roughly we think about it in three markets. It's an enormous market across the globe. There was mention earlier in one of the presentations about seawater and taking salts out of seawater for drinking water. That falls into this leftmost category in high volume applications. Seawater desal, oil and gas, mining, that kind of thing. The second category is in industrial and commercial. And this is where we employ technologies to take salt out of water, enabling recycling and a more efficient production of water appropriate for different industrial processes. And finally, on the right, water softening. Now, my apartment here in Amsterdam has so much hardness in the water that I literally have to clean the glass every single week in my shower. That much of the white scale powder hardness comes out of the water. So water softening is about a $2 billion market, or $3 billion market around the globe. Now, at Voltea, we're not really focused on the high volume applications for a couple of reasons. Number one, the existing technology, there was a reference to a multi-effect distillation earlier. Of course, everybody knows about large scale RO plants. That technology works pretty well. Um, and quite frankly, it's dominated by very, very large players and it's commoditized. The margins are so poor that it certainly wouldn't be interesting to a group like this. But if you move over into industrial and commercial and certainly residential water softening, there's some pretty big issues with the existing technology. And there's a lot of economic and regulatory pressures on those technologies and therefore it creates an opportunity for folks like Voltea. And this is our near-term focus. So why, I, why is our technology better than incumbent technologies? Well, first of all, with reverse osmosis, you're putting very high pressure on the water to push it across a membrane. With our technology, the water flows freely to, through charged electrode plates. It's essentially electrodialysis, and the graphic there on the lower right-hand corner sort of descri describes how the technology works. Mankind's been using electrodialysis for a long, long time now. And if the water flows unimpeded, you don't have high pressure, and if you don't have high pressure, of course, you don't have high costs. Another incumbent technology is traditional water softeners or ion exchange type um, technologies. The problem with a traditional water softener, and I imagine several of you in this audience probably have one, you're not taking any salt out of water. You're just replacing hard salt with soft salt, or you're taking a really bad salt out of the water and putting a not so bad salt back in. But you're not taking any of the salt out. And then with our technology, by using effectively electrodialysis, we use an electric field to pull the salt out of the water. Very, very low pressure, very, very low energy cost. So for a variety of reasons, our technology is far superior to existing technologies. Now, today, we've achieved a point on the cost curve that our technology is affordable. So it works. The challenge over the last few years has been, how do you get it to a cost structure that allows it to be deployed on a large scale. And you can see the very, very classic new technology cost curve that capacitive deionization from Voltea has followed. Just in the last 18 months, we've been able to take another 40% out of the costs. And so in addition to that cost structure coming down, which has largely been the result of a lot of intellectual property development and a pretty extensive patent portfolio, that patent portfolio creates a tremendous barrier to entry. So we've gotten a cost structure that now makes sense, the technology works, and that patent portfolio protects us from competitors. So we are a revenue generating company. We have been for a couple of years now. And we think about our deployments in terms of the number of modules that we've got out there. A module is the device that the water flows through to be desalinated. And so what you see then is a significant growth in the number of deployed modules. Now, what I haven't counted in this number are R&D type systems, pilot programs, or demos. These are actual systems that real world customers 
have paid for that we've deployed across the globe. We've currently got systems operating on four continents and multiple countries. So the cost structure's gotten right. The patent portfolio protects us in terms of new entrants to the market. And the deployments are going up exponentially over the last few years. How am I doing on time? I didn't even see it right there. I've got 30 seconds, and time is up. Thank you. It, it sounds like your company is well set up. No more challenges. What is the current challenge for you? Current challenge for us is, um, quite frankly, staffing to keep up with the growth. We've got a great investor syndicate, um, but we're growing so fast, we're currently opening a new office in North America. We'll continue to be headquartered here in the Netherlands, but staffing and getting good talent that can keep up with the pace um, is a big challenge. And why are you headquartered? I think you're American. I am American, yes. And why are you head <laughs> headquartered here in Amsterdam? Well, the company was originally a spin-out from Unilever. I okay. ran a division inside GE Water and then was one of the founding members of a startup named Seven Seas Water. Mm -hmm. So if you follow the water sector, I'm pretty sure you're aware of Seven Seas. I got lucky and worked with some great guys. And based on that, the investors in Voltaire recruited me about two years ago and to come in and lead the company. Okay, you are not an original co-founder, but you joined... I'm not an original co-founder yeah. of Voltaire. But they have a nice options package for you waiting. Well, I work <laughs> hard. <laughs> And are you, will you be fundraising any time again in the future, or do, do you think you can grow with what you have and then with the cash flow from customers? Yeah, so um, we currently, we've just completed an investment round. Um, we may very well be doing another growth round towards the end of the year, beginning of the spring next year, simply because we're growing that fast. Okay. Fortunately, revenues and margins, um, we're, we're very, very quickly approaching cash break even. Cool. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you. Keep Thank up you the all. Good work.